Hi, this is Elise. Thanks for joining. This tutorial will provide you with an overview of the editor. Let's start by reviewing functions in the main tool section at the top of your screen. Under Save, you have the ability to save or save as. Under Preview, you're able to preview the piece for email or print. You also have the ability to add elements to your marketing piece, such as an image, text box, a Google map, and shapes, including a rectangle, circle, or a line. The Zoom tool allows you to zoom in or out of your marketing piece. The Layer Down and Layer Up tools allow you to bring the selected element one layer down from its current position or one layer up from its current position. Please be aware that certain backgrounds and other locked elements in marketing materials cannot be edited or modified. Layering tools only apply to editable elements. If you're having trouble rotating, resizing, or moving an element because of the elements around it, try moving it up a few layers. To undo or redo an action, simply click on the appropriate undo or redo buttons. To edit an existing text box, simply click on either the text in the marketing piece or the label under text boxes. This will highlight the text box, allowing you to make necessary changes. To add a text box to your marketing piece, click on the Add button in the main tool section and select Add Text Box. To delete a text box, select the text box you'd like to remove and click on the Remove button in the Article Text Management Tool section. To move a text box, click on the text box and place your cursor over it until the cursor changes from a pointer to a four-directional arrow. Click the text box and drag and drop it to its new location on the marketing piece. To resize the text box, click on the text box and grab one of the four corner points and adjust it as needed. To rotate a text box, click on the text box and move your cursor over the green circle located at the top of your text box. Your cursor will change shapes from an arrow to a round arrow. You can then click and drag the circle to rotate your text box around a central pivot point. In the text editing tool section, you're able to change the font, font size, use bold, italicize, or underline, spell check text boxes, find and replace words, and cut copy and paste into text boxes. There's also numbering, bullet points, text justification, and paragraph spacing. You also have the ability to change the text color or highlight text using these buttons. You can also add or remove a hyperlink, insert a symbol, or add a superscript or subscript to your text. To add an image, click on the Add button in the main tool section of the Editing Toolbar and select Add Image. A standard image box will appear on your marketing piece. Change the placeholder photo by clicking on the Replace Image button in the Image Editing Tool section. Upload a new photo from your computer by clicking Browse, or choose a pre-uploaded photo in My Pictures or Stock Images. To move an image, click on the image box and position your cursor over it until the cursor changes from a pointer to a four-directional arrow. Next, click the image box and drag and drop it to the desired location on the marketing piece. 
To resize an image, click in the image box and grab one of the four corner points. You can change the height, width, or overall size of the image by dragging and dropping any one of the four corner points. To delete an image, simply select the image that you'd like to remove and click on the Remove Image button in the Image Editing Tool section. To load a pre-written article in the desired text box, simply click on the text box and select the Load Article button in the Article Text Management Tool section. You'll be able to select from small, medium, large, and full page articles. Click on the article of choice and it will automatically populate the text box. To change the page of a flyer, simply click on the appropriate page or click the drop down arrow to the right of Jump To and select the desired page. To get help or review frequently asked questions, simply click on the question mark icon in the upper right corner of the editing toolbar. To exit your marketing piece, ensure you've saved all changes and then click exit in the upper right corner of the editing toolbar. And that completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.